Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a little impromptu reaction to a trailer that just dropped for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Uh, I think this is the third trailer that they've released so far. Uh, they call it the official trailer, but I feel like the last one was pretty official. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the naming conventions of what a trailer is. And this seems more like a teaser. It's like a minute long. So I don't know. Um, but it's the official trailer. So someone correct me down below in the comments if you feel like you need to do so um, and yeah just let me know but anyways uh, hopefully this will show some new footage this is a movie I'm really hyped for I've been covering it a lot on this channel um, for obvious reasons because uh, yeah uh, I don't know if you know this but um, yeah I'm big fan of Simu Liu big fan of everyone involved in this project Asian or not um, so it's just really cool to see and I'm um, really hyped for this man I I've been missing some uh, kung fu in my life so yeah let's just uh, get right into it and watch this okay let's go what happened to your shirt all I ever wanted was a normal life my son the ten rings gave our family legendary power Show me you are strong enough to carry that. I'm nothing like you. I thought I could change my name. Start a new life. You can't outrun your destiny. Not afraid of you. Marvel Studios Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, rated PG thirteen. All right. Um. Yeah. That looks. Uh, that looks like more of the same. Uh, I'm not gonna say like. Oh my god. It's so mind blowing. Um. It is sort of just extending on some of the um, scenes that we've already seen. Kind of like that speed sequence down in San Francisco. Um, more of Shang-Chi saying, uh, I've changed my name, which he probably changed his name to Kevin Kim, which just letting you know, Shang-Chi, that, uh, yeah, that is a very common name amongst Asians. So actually, if you chose that name, there's probably a good chance they wouldn't find you, at least easily. Uh, I hope the reveal in the movie is that he named himself something super out there. Um, I don't know if he's going to continue going by Shang-Chi. I don't know if that's actually the name that he chose to uh, disguise himself amongst civilians. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm pretty excited, I'm really focused on this name thing, but there, there are other things in this trailer. Um, I don't know if it was this trailer or not. I, I just I just scrubbed through it again. Um, apparently there is some clip or a picture around of uh, us saying actually Shang-Chi fight uh, Abomination. And um, from the last trailer reaction I had, someone in the comments said, hey, you, you seem to have missed a very particular character um, disappointed that you didn't catch that um, yeah uh, sorry that I didn't mention anything in the last trailer it's very obviously Wong now that every channel on YouTube has covered it it's very obviously Wong uh, but at the time it was so quick and I just thought it was a, a sorcerer I just thought it was just your everyday sorcerer I just thought it was one of the guys that fought in the uh, final battle in Endgame I didn't think it was necessarily Wong I was like oh this movie's gonna get expensive hiring all these big-name actors so my 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 mind didn't go to that but you know upon watching I'm like why wouldn't he be in this cast so yeah uh, sorry I didn't catch that in the first one he's not in this trailer but uh, yeah I was looking out for that moment where we see Shang-Chi fight Abomination but I'm glad that they're holding out on that I'm glad that they're waiting until the movie's released um, for that. And if there is any footage of that, I, do, I don't want to see it because I want to save my uh, expectations for, yeah, the actual uh, premiere. So, yeah, just kind of going through this trailer, we get to see some more dialogue spoken by Simu as Shang-Chi. And, uh, yeah, it, it just it's it's just feels like a teaser. Feels like this should have come before that last trailer because we're not really seeing much. I'll say the one thing that does concern me is nothing about the story or anything like that it's just um this right here so this screen grab concerns me a little bit and just because i've watched a lot of these movies is that i feel like a lot of final battles do look a little bit muddy look a little bit gray just kind of washed out and i hope that this isn't 
uh, an accurate representation of what that final battle is going to look like. Um, but yeah, I, I will say I am like a little bit uh, tired of seeing kind of the gray washed out color palette in a lot of these movies. I feel like I'm much more excited um, for the forest sequence. Sequence? Sequence! Forest sequence uh, happens here. So this I'm very excited for. I love these colors in this. They're obviously cluing us in that the final battle will be between him and his father and it's probably going to take place in some mountainous terrain. I don't know where it's going to be taking place. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of wish it took place here. I feel like that would be really cool, and really appropriate um, for the style that they're trying to capture in this movie. But yeah, overall, I'm very hyped for this movie. I'm van va vaddy vaddy. I'm very hyped to see what Daniel Creston Da Daniel, Daniel, wow, like, like Daniel, da Daniel Day Lewis, what is his name? I'm very excited for what Destin Daniel Cretton brings to this movie. I hope he does bring some elements that he is known for. Like I said, in, I think my first reaction is that he's not really a director who does action. He's not an action director. He doesn't have any experience in that. And sometimes I feel like one of the things about these movies or the Marvel movies is that yeah, there, there is some hint that there is a director working behind the scenes, and sometimes it's very obvious that it's the director's vision, but other times it just feels like they wanted to get a director that is hot at the moment, someone who just got out of directing a few indie movies that uh, did really well with the common population, but then they kind of just say, okay, don't worry about it, we got all the action covered, we have our own stunt scene, we have our own choreographers, don't even worry about it. Don't add any extra flair. Just focus on maybe tweaking the script, directing the actors in some of these scenes. Uh, here's a by, by, by and by like, this is what we are setting up and this is what we need you to execute. And some little teasers here and there uh, establishing what's going to happen in the universe. Now go. And I feel like that's kind of the approach that they have a lot of the times. And I hope that this isn't like that. I hope that we really do feel the director's vision kind of come through. That being said, it looks like a really cool vision, and you know, I, I just, for myself, I don't want this to be a generic B flick um, that is, you know, somewhat alluding to the Kung Fu epics of like the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, I'd say. I want it to be something different, and this does look different, but I don't want it to be generic. Um, that's one of my biggest fears. I'm not putting this movie down. Like I said, this I'm very excited for this, but I am concerned. Uh, I'm just saying my concerns just because I, I'm, I have very high expectations. So, all that being said, I am excited for this. I've said that a few times already, in case you didn't know. Um, so yeah, what did you guys think of this trailer? There isn't a lot to be said about it. Um, doesn't show a lot more. I was wondering if this is even worth doing a video about. But it seems that, you know, I, I've been covering everything so far. Why not do this one as well? So yeah, what did you guys think? Uh, did you guys enjoy it? Are you guys excited for the movie? If so, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And as always, guys, I will see you later.